Hello everyone, you've probably been watching the channel and wondering, is Remy any good at magic? And the answer is no. But I wanted to do a gameplay video to show you a little bit of my thought process when it comes to deck building, and I hope that you'll really enjoy this video. We're going to try to win games in standard with a card called Halo Fountain. Now, Halo Fountain is a three mana artifact that uh, allows you to tap five white mana and untap 15 tapped creatures you control to win the game. This is not a popular card in standard from what I've pieced together, but we're gonna see if we can make it work. And so here's the deck that I've been playing in standard. Starting with the two drops, Spirited Companion. Now, why am I playing Spirited Companion? Two reasons. Uh, one, it's a doggy. And, and reason number two, it draws a card. And until they print a card that says, uh, get free McDonald's, draw a card is my favorite text that exists currently on a magic card. We also have a couple copies of a removal spell here, as well as Ambitious Farmhand. Three drops, of course, we have the aforementioned Halo Fountain. We're only running three copies of Halo Fountain because Halo Fountain is not good in duplicates. In fact, it's not even good uh, in single form. So we're gonna just shave a copy there. Borrowed Time, I like these three mana Oblivion Ring effects. And Faithbound Judge, can it attack? No. But having an alternate way to win the game when your main win condition is Halo Fountain, not a bad idea. Depopulate. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would you run a four mana sweeper when you have uh, creatures on turn two and turn three? The reason is uh, they won't expect it. Okay. But in fairness, we have Sarah Paragon as well that can recast a lot of these creatures. Moving on to the five drops, we have uh, Elspeth Resplendent. There should be four copies here, but it is very tough to to generate a lot of creatures, and we're gonna need 15, that I wanted to make room for Rabble Rousing, generate, generate some creatures. Uh, a couple more copies of a Sweeper, and Sanctuary Warden, a couple copies of Sanctuary Warden is a card that I have really liked to play ever since it came into standard. So we're gonna take this deck for a spin and see if we can win some games with Halo, Fountain, and Standard. I'm very excited, here we go. But first, are you ready to embark on an epic journey? Because this video is brought to you by Bloodline Heroes of Lithis, the game that brings fantasy to life. Experience the thrill of unlocking new heroes every fortnight. Our latest addition, the Goat Folk Stone Throwers. I think they have those on Twitter. Hailing from the lands of the Dragonborn, they become the finest marksmen, wielding an ancient artifact of power discovered in the ruins of a lost civilization. And I don't mean San Francisco. But that's not all. In Bloodline, you can create over 1,000 unique hybrids by marrying different bloodlines, unleashing a unique brand of gameplay. You can download Bloodline Heroes of Lithus by clicking the link in the description or by scanning the mysterious square on the screen. And here's a special treat, get a $20 starter pack. By using our link, you'll receive a summoning crystal, 100,000 gold and 100 diamonds. This is like a goodie bag at a Saudi birthday party. So what are you waiting for? Unleash the power of the bloodline and embark on an unforgettable journey in Bloodline Heroes of Lithis. Download now and join the ranks of the heroes and we thank Bloodline for sponsoring this video. All right, here we go. Let's see who we're gonna play against here. Jean Rene. Here we go. Lands and spells. Bonjour. Planes and go. All right. No Halo Fountain here. Uh, no, no token generating, but we do have a dog. And we're drawing cards and we're having fun. So let's see if we get there. We're going against the, what looks like green white. All right, well that tells us all we need to know. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a counter on it. There's our enchantment spell. And they've got a large creature already. But we have a faith bound judge. One of my favorite cards in standard. No attacks into your large creature. Um, faith bound judge. What else do you want? You know, eventually it can attack. It's not like it's not gonna attack ever if it sticks around. And you've got this cool thing that it can transform into. Um, am I going to be Mythic Champion playing this card? No. Am I going to be smiling? Yes. And that's why I like Faithbound Judge and cards like it. Ossification. That was the saddest thing I think that's ever happened to me in my life. I'm just talking about all the good things. That, that That's going to be tough to recover from. No blocks. Maybe I should have blocked. It's going to die anyway. No attacks. Now I block. Does this thing have trample? Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Here we go. All right. 
Enchantment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Well, that's some synergy. This is what we in the business call losing. Halo Fountain. Now, we'll play a Halo Fountain and a Spirited Companion? I think we're just dead, though. Because he probably has something else. I, 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 have, to, I have to cast as many um, blockers as I possibly can, and just in the hopes of surviving until my next turn. No attacks. Survival mode here. Let's see if we can untap. Stick around for another turn. All right, creature. But it's an enchantment. Okay. I got 12 now looking at us. That's an enchantment. Enchantment snake druid, just like in nature. It's not looking good. A nineteen fifteen. That was a year. Just gonna block here in case the uh, calculator's broken. All right, we didn't do it this game, but that is okay. We are unfazed. We will try again. Here we go. All right, let's see who we get paired against here. Ah, oh, okay, I can't pronounce that. All right. I see lands, I see spells, I keep. Let's see what we're up against. Grab another planes and say go. Got our faith bound judge out there. Now, I don't think I want to. Whenever a quick creature dies, draw a card. That doesn't seem that threatening to me. I mean, I can use this borrowed time to try to. Oh, that looks that looks angrier. Oh my goodness. Yeah, maybe I just maybe I'm gonna kill this thing. Play another spirited companion. Draw a card. Oh, another spirited companion. I love it. I'm gonna draw so many cards. All right, they're on a 18 turn clock here. Forge. I do I want to get rid of that? Oh. Oh, it's exiled, that's not good, okay. The downside of this hideaway thing is that um, uh, a lot of cards in this deck are not really bombs. So normally you'd think that with hideaway you could you could tuck a, a bomb under there and and then turn it over and surprise your opponent. But norm, more often than not, it's an ambitious farmhand and and it's underwhelming. Okay. That's problematic. Well, that's fun. 
I like that. So let's play another rabble rousing here. And uh I'm not good at math, but let's just see what happens here. So we have 11 creatures currently, and I, I suspect they're gonna be able to get a lot of cards here or do something, but we do have a Halo Fountain um, that is kind of threatening, I feel. Uh, maybe not this upcoming turn, but next turn. want to be mindful of my my life total if Shieldred is on the board. I don't know if that's correct or not. done. All right, let's see if we can do it. Let's see if they got anything. I mean, there's a... Oh, wait. Hello. All right, let's just go for it here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Submit fifteen. And we did it! All right. Well, we won with Halo Fountain and Standard. Uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, pretty straightforward. I think uh, normally there would be uh, a little bit more uh, in the way of uh, things that could go wrong when you're trying to create that many creatures and and. Uh, get them tapped and then untapped. But I hope that you enjoyed watching uh, that video. And uh, uh, if this deck sounds like something that you would wanna uh, play, please feel free to sleeve it up and let me know how it goes uh, in the comments. Until next time, this has been uh, Untitled Magic Playing Video. <laughs> I don't, that's pretty, that's pretty fun.